as we welcome the two archers for our first match. Coming out to compete for the bronze medal in the compound is Ella Gibson from Great Britain and Tanya Galantine of Denmark. Gibson, the number one ranked archer in compound in the world right now, got there in July last year. It was the first time she hit number one. So Ella Gibson, the 22 year old. Tanya Galantine from Denmark, a former world number one. Got there in June 2021, currently ranked five. So we have two of the world's best going at it for a bronze medal, both beaten in their semi finals. And you know Ella Gibson well, John. I guess she wouldn't have always, never happy to lose, but I guess she'll be fired up to get this one over the line. Yeah, these, this people would have expected this to be the gold medal match. I know that sounds mean against the girls to beat, but you know, Archer is a game of millimetres and that's what it came down to yesterday. Both losing very high standard semi-finals. Ella and Tanya, they've had a lot of very top end matches against each other. I don't know who's won the most between them, but Tanya is one of the absolute best indoors. So yeah, it's going to be an incredible match. Probably one of the best matches of the day, probably. Yes, Galantine is a uh, multiple winner indoors. She has won World Indoor Championships and Teams Competition, World Cup Finals, other events as well. Gibson, though, of course, has uh, such a good record too, despite being 22 years of age. So here we go, Gibson against Galantine for the bronze medal in the women's compound. <laughs> Team starts off with a team. Tanya is dialed in there. for Galantine there, but she's got the experience and the patience to deal with it. That target is only 18 metres away, but the target face is tiny. That 10 ring just two centimetres in diameter. It's uh, barely bigger than the thickness of the arrow itself. Nine. Galantine with Very her first shot there, Tanya. Yeah, arrow outside of the 10 there. Complete contrast to that second arrow, wasn't it, that release? So Gibson can take a one-point lead after the first end, and here it is, three tens in a row for the British Archer. You can see the quality of these two. They both look very comfortable out there in this arena. They're both so used to these kind of arenas. Every uh, every important World Indoors tournament this winter that they've attended, they've both been on the podium at every event they've attended. So this is going to be the first time that one of them won't have appeared on a podium this, this season. Gibson has been in pretty decent form too. 150 she scored, perfect score in her round of 116 elimination, then dropped a point in a 1-8, then dropped another point in the quarterfinal when she beat the Italian Elisa Rona in a shoot-off and then dropped another point again in the semi-final so 150, 149, 148, 147 she'll be hoping to stop that trend here Absolutely, in this, yeah. in this uh, bronze medal match and she's made an excellent start as we see Galantine get the second end underway she trails by 130 to 29 Ten. Thank you. 
First uh, loose arrow there for Ella. He just evens the ledger. Valentine with the perfect 30 in that end. Yeah. And Gibson just grabbing the top line. So we're dead even after the first two ends now with both archers just dropping a single point. Martin Damsbo there with Tanya Galantine, one of the best archers there's ever been in the game of compound and he's mentored so many great people behind him from Denmark. Galantina's been there or thereabouts for a long time now. Started to enjoy success back in 2015. At World Youth Championships, former World Youth Champion. And moved nicely into the senior ranks, as Gibson has done too. So third end, and here we go. It's 59 apiece. Galantine again to go first. Perfect. Center from again. Gibson. Yeah. Yep, the outstanding. Yeah. Oh, this is a big chance for Gibson. Might only be a one point match. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Takes that opportunity. As I said earlier, everyone in that room would be very, like, no disrespect to the girls in the gold. Everyone would have expected this to be the gold medal match. But, you know, it's such a small margin in this game. It comes down to the smallest of line calls sometimes. Indeed. Galantine didn't go so well in her semi. She was beaten by Lucille Yatma of Estonia, two-time champion here. 146 to 142. John, I mean, 142, yeah. not a, not a uh, score that Galantine is, is known for. No, absolutely not. Wasn't quite on a game yesterday. Uh, bottom half of the draw, there were some real surprises through the matches. Like, uh, Ella had a, a horrendous match with uh, Elisa Rona in the quarterfinal. And Elisa Rona's been shooting some of the highest scores in the world this season. So that's not a match that you want to meet in the quarterfinal. And... 148 tie, I think it was, and they 10 and a 9 in the shoot off. The level is incredible now. Yeah, and the level is incredible in this match, too, with Gibson just dropping the single point so far, and Galantine just two. Two ends to come. Tanya normally shoots a bit quicker than that.
It's a bit long, a bit time. shaky. I think that's just out. Yeah. Yeah, looked like a nine, didn't it? This time, yeah. just looking a little yeah. unsteady. That was a good one. Galantine <laughs> responds with a, a maximum score. And now Gibson needs a 10 to lock it up. Yeah. Yeah. Which he's achieved. So there we are. 118 piece with three arrows left in the match. I wish Ella would give her sight a couple of clicks up. <laughs> They're all just on the high side of the tent. Well, so much sport at this level is mental. And in your head, John, and now it's uh, another. And these two have been here many, many times before. They've just got to keep going through their routine and banging in those tents. Isn't this? No other, what, or nothing left for, for them to do, really. No. What a great match. So 118 apiece. Both archers have just dropped the two points. And we have three arrows left. The final end coming up. Who's going to get the bronze medal here in Neen? Gibson or Galantine? So once again, it'll be Galantine to go first. What has effectively become a three arrow match. It's the start she wanted. Center again. Brilliant. Dead center. Yeah, a replica, wasn't it? So two arrows left now. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, Gibson's gone low there. That mm. means Tanya Galantine can win the match right here with another 10. Long hold, Got but it. she's nailed it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. oh, that's the difference between winning and losing there, John. Just one slight error from Gibson, and that was it. Millimeters, as we said at the start of the match. Great match for Tanya Galantine from Denmark has got the bronze medal 148 to 147. Just a single point in it. 148 matches her previous best at this tournament. That's the third time she's achieved that score in the last two days. Tanya Galantine gets the bronze medal. Another medal for her in international indoor archery.